There are a number of ways that parents can become concerned that their child might be a bully. One is that school administrators might make them aware of it. Um, and another is that they may see the signs of it at home. Uh, so one important point is to not doubt school administrators when they are presenting evidence that your child may be involved in bullying. A lot of cyberbullying is not fully intentional, but cyberspace and digital media creates this in-between area where kids often send messages without thinking. Their intent was actually not to harm or they weren't fully aware that they could have caused harm. So some of cyberbullying can be stopped by educating your child about how another child would have taken the message that they had sent, as well as having explicit rules about what's appropriate to send or to post at home, using media agreements to get to those rules. That is the best time. If you think your child is cyberbullying and you've not had media agreements in the home, that is the time to begin to sit down and create contracts for use, um, as well as to create firm consequences and to escalate the consequences if they're needed, if the behavior continues. Sometimes that requires um, assistance to uh, do this, either a school administrator or school counselor or a mental health counselor, uh, particularly if the behavior is persisting, isn't really changing, the child doesn't seem to understand how what they're doing is hurtful, that may be a good time to try and get some help. There are many, many tip sheets on uh, these uh, different types of websites, Common Sense Media, NetSmarts, different tip sheets that prompt parents uh, either through the use of, uh, there's some videos you can watch together with your child, there are actual, you know, sort of, uh, there are actual tip sheets you can read that have questions and answers. Um, also, there's another uh, site, Cyberbullying, and there's another site in which you can actually find a script for how to talk to your child about cyberbullying, how to talk about inappropriate textings, the buzzing of the uh, cell phone, um, how to open up that conversation, what to say, that provide real factual problem-solving approaches. In, in case you're a little bit confused about how to start that process, there are materials that actually walk you through it and can provide kind of a, um, a blackboard for you to be able to move forward.